Hey there guys, John here with the Flickpick channel, and I'm out in the middle of the country right now, and uh, by country I mean I'm, yeah, I'm five minutes outside of the city and there's a cornfield over there. You know, I went to the pawn shop today, and for $2.23 I bought something, and it's called Kazam. I don't need Criterion movies to, to be a true collector. I have this. I mean, just the tagline says everything you need to know. He's a rapping genie with an attitude, and he's ready for slam dunk fun. You know, and you got this little kid down here sitting on a boom box, which is the same size as him, looking up at Shaq with a, uh, a golden uh, vest on. So, I mean, like I said, I, you know, I've said it a hundred times, you can't buy class. You know, that's a lie. Actually, I feel like a piece of shit. I am shit, I am filth, I am the defecate out of a drunk man's anal cavity. <laughs> I am the pus that leaks out of a boil on Don Vito's neck. I'm nothing. Someone just drove by and they, they were going like 35 miles per hour. Then they, as soon as they got right beside me, they were going five miles per hour. And the whole family, the kids, the mom, the dad, they all stared in at me. And I'm sitting here talking to a camcorder on my dashboard holding the movie uh, Kazam. And you know what? That memory is going to haunt that family for the rest of their lives. <sighs> you know, I can't, I can't sit in the car anymore. I can't do this. This environment I'm in right now is too beautiful. I'm out in the country setting, the sun's going down, I got the, uh, the golden wheat field behind me. You know, I feel like I can breathe out here. You know, uh, usually when I'm in a city, I feel like I'm in a cesspool, just swimming, and it's, it kind of gets in your mouth a little bit, you spit it out, but no matter how hard you spit, you still get that taste in your mouth. That didn't sound good, did it? I mean, look at my hair right now. Look, what is that? What is going on right there? What is this? Sometimes when you guys lose yourself and you guys want to refine your inner spirit and that childhood sense of uh, adventure, um, you got to come out to a, a place like this. And it brings me to another point. And how I got to this other point, I'm not sure. But here's what I wanted to say. You don't really know who you are until you have a conversation with yourself. And I have a lot of those. And it's sad, it's pathetic, and uh, it's the truth, though. And here's what Zen Master Johnny wants you guys to do today. I want you guys to have a two-minute conversation with yourself. And don't joke around. Don't, don't kid. This isn't, this isn't a joke. Truly sit there, look at yourself in the mirror, and, uh, and talk to yourself. Ask yourself how you're doing today. And you're gonna be surprised by the answers that come out. And be truthful, don't lie. And I think that's cheaper than any therapy, that's cheaper than any drug you can buy, and it's definitely cheaper than snorting blow off a uh, young transgender Beijing boy's ass. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna get back to my car right now. I see cars coming, um, and if they come by and I'm parked to the side out in the middle of the road with a camcorder, uh, looking really dubious, they're gonna think I buried a body in these woods back here. I'm, I got, I, I, I gotta go. Uh, I don't like, the, I don't like the direction I'm going in right now. Uh, I, what, what are we talking about anymore? I'm lost. I'm, I'm confused, and I, I just felt like um, you guys needed to hear my, my inner workings because it's, it's almost like a car crash. You know, I don't know what the hell's happening right now. Ever since I bought this movie, I feel all weird. I feel like something's gonna pop out of me. I, I don't know who I am. I'm lost. Oh, and on a side note, I was only half serious about why did I do that when I, I described half? Like, what does that mean? Is that full and that's half? What is that? That means a little bit, but I said half. So, uh, okay. I'm telling you, I'm all screwed up. This movie, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm John with the Flick Pick channel, and I'll see you later. I don't want this movie. This is this is the devil, and I cannot have this. Uh, yeah, right. That was just for joking purposes. I spent $3 on this thing. I'm not going to get rid of it. I got to go home and watch it.